Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got for you my May favorites. Woo! So that's always fun to do. <laughs> um, I only have one, two, I think I've got six items. Um, not a big one this month, but some fun stuff to share. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this crown brush. So I don't actually know the name of this crown brush, but it's the crown brush we got in the BoxyCharm this month. For me, um, it is the oval brush. I actually had never tried this kind of brush before, and I actually love it. It applies, I find it applies my foundations really, my foundations, my foundation really quick. Um, and in the morning, that's what I need. Like, I work now, I'm back to work full time, so I need to really go quick when I get ready in the morning. <laughs> so I find this, like, it actually really does nice and spread the foundation and actually blends into the skin very nicely. Um, um, I've been really enjoying it, so it makes me kind of want to try some, you know, higher quality, quality ones, but that won't happen anytime soon. But anyway, <laughs> so that was my first favorite uh, for the month. Then I want to talk to you about a nail polish. So this is Julep. So I love Julep um, nail polishes. I have a ton. I am uh, subscribed. I think I've been subscribed to them since 2000. Oh, did not meet my phone. Since 2014. Um, and I wanted some kind of red to go on my toes. And I'm not a red. Like I'm wearing a red lip right now because I just did a makeup look. And I'll, I can leave that down below if you are curious to know where this comes from. But I'm not a huge red person. Um, and even a nail polish. So I was looking, I tend to like like orangey reds more than I like like blue reds. Um, and I was looking for something that's not the traditional red. You know the red I'm talking about that you, when you think about red toes or red nails is the red that you were thinking about, like that bright bluish red, you know? That's not what I was looking for. So I pulled this one out of my collection, which, you know, surprisingly I've had for a long time. <laughs> um, it's the color Shayla. Um, and it's like, if you look at it in the bottle, you're like, it's not 100% red. You may see a bit of coral in it, but it's, it looks red on the toes. But with that hint of orangey that I like better than blue. So this is actually probably my perfect red. So I have adored this. I love the shade on it. Instantly fell in love with it when I put it on my toes. Um, and I love the formula of the Julep Nail Polish. So that's definitely a plus. Um, but I just want to thought. I just wanted to share with you guys this color. So you've heard me talk about these before. These are the La Chatelain, uh hand creams. They're 20% shea butter. They are made in France. They're cruelty free. They're a whole bunch of awesome stuff. And I love these so much. Um, this is the scent Cinnamon Orange. I didn't think I would like this because I'm like, ah, it's a little bit too spicy for me. It is so, so lovely. I'm so impressed with the smell. It's like a sweet and you get like, you get citrus, you get sweet, and then you have a little kick of like spice in it. Love it. I absolutely love the scent. I love this hand cream. Um, you can get them if you're in the States. You can get them on Amazon.com. Uh, in Canada, they're still harder to find. I actually want to, I'm, I'm actually going to see if the company has any updates for me on the uh, Canadian front, because I know they were working on that. So uh, I'll let you know if I hear anything, but I love these hand creams. These are the kits that I found back a few, I think a couple years ago at Costco. They didn't have them last year, so I'm hoping they come back because, man, I am stashing up if they come back. <laughs> The next item you probably saw in my stash your trash shit uh, number seven, no six, 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 six. Um, this is the pure eye polish. It's the base plus top coat. It is in color satin. Uh, it's from Pure. I absolutely love this. And again, I'm all about quick looks. This is awesome to put straight on the lid. I'm not going to go into too much details because you can just watch all the goodies into my video, but I absolutely love this and it's a beautiful color and um, these I find are very underrated and more people need to talk about these because these are awesome. And the last two items, so the one I am bringing back because I talked about this few times before, especially on the blog, it is the Lumi Cushion L'Oreal Foundation. I have brought it back. I've tried other things for a while and now decided to bring it back out. And I don't regret it. <laughs> it is so lovely. I love how my skin looks. My skin, I find lately with... I'm tired. I haven't been sleeping a lot. My daughter was sick. 
So we've been, you know, lack of sleep and going back to work and this readjustment. My skin has just been dull, like bleh. So I need to kind of bring it back. So using this on my skin actually works really well because it's, it is luminous and it gives my, uh, my skin looks a bit health, like it looks healthy and glowy when I wear this. So I've absolutely really loved this and I use it with a crown brush and it goes on like a dream. Love it. And the last item, it is the Tarte Shape Tape. Okay, so everybody and their moms are talking about the Tarte Shape Tape. I get it, you're sick of hearing about it. <laughs> but the hype is real, guys. The hype is real. I really thought I'd be like, eh, you know what? Everybody talks about it, and it's just going to be like any other concealer, blah, big wow. But it is not. <laughs> um, it is full coverage. This baby, full coverage doesn't crease everything else except for the Maybelline dark circle eraser do I have it close to show you guys well this is the wrong shade but to get the idea these ones there the age rewind um, that's my go-to all the time if I need extra coverage one morning this will go 100% they have a huge shade range I have the shade light I could probably go, I forget what they're called, but I should, could probably go up or down in a shade depending if I want more luminous or more like actual color of my skin. They have a ton of shade range. I actually tried trouble picking up a shade. I picked this up when I was in the States back in March and I used it sporadically and I've been using it a bit more lately and it, it's, it's great. It blends wonderful. It is full coverage. It doesn't know if you're looking for like to make yourself look flawless this will do a great job um, this has now become part of my holy grails alongside the age rewind 100% um, it is good the hype is real that's all I gotta say the hype is real guys the hype is real <laughs> so that was it guys that was my favorites for the month of May I hope that you enjoyed that let me know down below what were your favorites for the month of May uh, or have you used any of the items that I mentioned and what do you think of them do you agree you're like huh no, not. I hate that product. Here's why. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell, and come back for more. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.